Hello, Dublin. <laughs> uh, hello and welcome to Speaker's Corner. This is the um, this is part of the Theatre Machine Turns On. Hello, ladies. Ladies, you want to stop and listen? No, you're going to ignore me. That's all right. Sir, you must stop and listen to what I have to say. Fantastic. Brilliant. Uh, people around the corner, can't see you, but do you want to come around? I'm talking about legalising cannabis. Probably a subject that's uh, close to your heart. <laughs> Hello, taxi driver. How are you? Hello, ladies. How are you, sir? Would you like to stop and listen to some stuff? Sir, how are you doing? Welcome. Hello, how are you? Good day. Hello. Hello. <laughs> okay, folks, hello and welcome to uh, Speaker's Corner. Uh, my name is Connor. Hey, hello. Uh, my name is Connor Madden. Uh, I'm talking about... Hello. I'm talking about the legalization of cannabis. Now, I'm not doing this for selfish reasons. I'm doing this, I'm talking about this for very practical... Hello, how are you? I'm talking about the legalization of cannabis for very uh, pragmatic and... Uh, for very pragmatic reasons, right? Uh, we're all 50 grand in debt, 50,000 euros. Every man, woman and child in Ireland owes 50,000 euros, okay? Hello, 50, 50 grand. That's how much debt each individual Irish person owes, 50 grand. Um, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna talk about today. Hello, you're all right. Well done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's shouting. That's good. Well done. All right. Okay. So I'm not gonna talk about the, I'm not gonna talk about the 50 grand, right? I'm not gonna talk about that. I'm gonna look for solutions. Solutions to that problem. Solution number one: raise taxes. No, 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 no. You don't raise taxes because there isn't enough money in the country to pay the fucking taxes. You don't raise taxes. Simple. Uh, sale of state assets. Number two, right? You sell state assets. Okay, we're already doing that. Except for state assets. State assets um, are your assets. There is no state, there is just citizens of a state. So they're really your assets. So we're selling off the forests, that's fine. We're selling our oil and gas. The estimated worth of the oil and gas fields in uh, Galway, off the coast of Galway Mayo, hello, are worth uh, 500 billion. Let me just say that again, right? 500 billion euros. Whoa. That's the, um, yeah, that's the estimated worth of the gas fields. Um, whatever, right? So, so we're selling off state assets, that's fine. Solution three, you take something that is currently a liability, something that currently costs the state money, and you make it an asset. You make it make the state money, okay? So, in my opinion, you legalize all drugs, every drug, right? Now, we live in a country where it was illegal to be gay up until very recently, where we can't even, hello, we can't even legislate for abortion, all right? So I'm not holding my breath for the legalization of all drugs. So we'll take cannabis, the safest of all the drugs. Cannabis is the safest of all the drugs. You can't overdose of cannabis. It's actually impossible. You'll fall asleep before you can eat enough that you would die. Uh, you can overdose of paracetamol. You can overdose on loads of other drugs, all right? So cannabis is very safe. Um, in Ireland, cannabis is illegal, as you may or may not know. Hello, gentlemen. We're talking about the legalization of cannabis for money. Fuck the health benefits. Um, <laughs> so, in Ireland, the cannabis is illegal, all right? Um, it's Schedule 1 and the Misuse of Drugs Act 19, 1977. There are eight schedules. Schedule 1 is where psychosyllabin mushrooms, magic mushrooms, and... Uh, yeah! Yeah! Is... All right, off you go. I just just... I like iPads. Yeah, thank you very much. She likes my iPads, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah! yeah. Um, so schedule one is where psychosyllabin mushrooms live, it's where cannabis lives, thought to have no medicinal benefit whatsoever. Schedule two, thought to have some medicinal benefit, that's where cocaine lives. By the way, cocaine is thought to have some medicinal benefit, We is thought to have none, okay? Um, uh, cannabis arrests account for 60% of all the arrests under the Misuse of Drugs Act 1977. All 60% of them, right? So, we'll say in my world, now, cannabis is legal. That means 60% of the arrests under that act, 60% of the time and money it goes into process, all those people, hello folks, 60% uh, of, of uh, the court time, all that stuff, straight away that's taken away, straight away you have, uh, you, you've saved money straight away. Not only that, you control who buys it, you control the source, the supply, so you control, so a drug dealer doesn't really care who buys their drugs. Seriously, Seriously they just, they just want to make money man, they just, they don't really care, they just want to make money. Um, so, in a, in a state, when it's legal, the state, basically, you don't sell it to anyone that's under fucking 18, it's simple, it makes sense. You don't sell it to people that are under 18, okay? Um, and you control the sales supply, the source, and most importantly, the tax. You tax it. You tax the, the workers that, that grow it, and you tax the sale of it. It's simple. Um, we'll say, 
in Ireland there's a, a half a billion euros uh, in um, on, on the black market. It's half a billion euros every year. So we'll say um, that includes piracy, not this kind of piracy, a different kind of piracy. <laughs> and all it does. Um, so we'll say cannabis is worth 10 million of that, all right? That, that's 10 million euros a year, every year, plus the savings that are... Answer that there. <laughs> that are, uh, <laughs> Plus the savings that you make by not fucking prosecuting people, it's simple, okay. Now, any questions before I go on? Before I sum up, do I have any questions? <laughs> you, you, you look like you're going to ask me a question, sir, do you have any questions? No, don't you have? Half? No, no. Was any just, questions? There was something about the farmers yesterday growing it, wasn't there? Oh, well, you could have the farmers grow it, that's very true, if you wanted to. Now, chances are, the farmers wouldn't want it because we do need to eat. Okay, you know what I mean? yeah, Rather than yeah. Smoke, so farmers will probably continue to grow food, but you can could, you could do what you want. Any other questions, ladies and gentlemen? Rob, please. How would you control the influx of people that would be coming just for... Drug tourism you're talking about. Why Why would you Why would you need to control the influx? <laughs> like, why do you need to? Bring them in. We're doing it this year. Um, uh, what do you call it? Tourism is our biggest uh, invisible export. Tourism is. The gathering. We're doing it this year. We're bringing people in to show them Ireland. People come in to, to smoke dope. Okay, that's... That's kind of totally grand. I don't really mind that. Any other questions before I sum up? Okay, folks. To sum up, to sum up all right? Something that currently costs money. Something that currently costs the state a fucking load of money. He answered the phone, good man. He said it was important. <laughs> uh, something that currently costs the state loads and loads and loads of money. You haven't made your money. People are going to take drugs. Prohibition never works. Doesn't work. Simple as. So you take something that currently costs money and you have it make you money. Alright, thank you. Uh, okay, next. Yeah.